Okay guys, welcome back. It is day two of the Elite Cup 2021, Elite Cup 5, fifth edition already, and we have the semi-finals that are taking place today. So the players are well rested, and we have a banging semi-final coming up, where only two players can make it into the grand final, but they are already securing themselves some sort of prize money. Again, we had a pick and ban phase beforehand, where the top seeded player was able to pick a map as the first player, and um, this is a heat wave being picked by this person, by Binks, who is the top seeded player going into this match, winning his um, quarterfinal yeah, against uh, Nixotica. Maybe you remember that triple final situation from yesterday where Nixotica was being ahead of Sam eight thousands of a second and knocking out Sam and also Muda, one of the favorites for me to take it all home here. So Nixotica in semifinal two. Then we also have Hugo220, who's the third seeded player going into that match. Enter winning a quarterfinal number four. And then last but not least, we have Snow, who's always very fast. And we are starting it all off with, with Heatwave. Heatwave is the first map that we are seeing on this evening. A map by Firestorm, which is, um, yeah, very unique. But as every map here. And the world record is occupied by this guy here, by Hugo220. Yeah, the MTP driver is doing a real good job and we also have a change in the format because we're still playing in cup mode with a point repartition of 10, 7, 5 and 4 points but now the point limit is 120 points instead of 100 points and what cup mode means is that you collect points until that threshold of 120 points and then you have to win one more round in order to secure yourself a spot in the grand final and you already have secured at least 100 euro. Right now it is Hugo ahead, Enner and Binks are behind him, Snow had to release because he didn't hit that apex and Hugo is taking that eventually, Binks with more speed though and also Enner, Enner and Binks just eating Hugo alive there in the 51.68, great start, we have seen it all 5 axes yesterday but it is Binks and Enner overtaking them and actually the points repartition has changed, it is now the default cup mode. 10, 6, 4 and 3 points, so the match will definitely last longer. Yesterday we had that issue that uh, no player was really running away because the point repartition was just 10, 7, 5, 4 and with that 3 more points were uh, going to the players who were not in the top 1 and the first player was not really going away with a lot of points after all, but still now the points repartition is different and um, yeah. Let's go ahead into the next rounds. We play four rounds per map with one warm-up beforehand. And right now it is Hugo and Binks again pushing it. The easy esports player who is also driving the track. Mania grandly goes so close there to the triangle. But is able to stay alive. Enner and Snow are still not that far behind as Snow didn't get the best line again. But it is Hugo now wants to redeem himself again and maybe snipes him in the ending. But it's not enough. Binks stays, takes first with a point forty-four. That is a banging time considering that the world record is a point 22, so only point 0.2 away from the initial world record. What a great round here to start it all off with. And Binks with a dream start, 20 points and already 10 points ahead of Hugo and Anna who are tied for that second place. So great job there. And Snow only... Six points here for Snow, for the BS player. Uh, a German organization, if I even know. Was it Swiss? Something like that. But he is um, not doing too well here. Only six points, but now he can redeem himself. Maybe claiming that second place. But he needs more than that to stay alive in this race. Hugo with a good blind, lowering his airtime. But also Enner is doing a great job here of staying alive and make something happen. And it is Hugo and Snow! No way! Enner and Snow making that mistake, but Snow with the fastest reaction and due to the new penalty update, he can still make that jump, but he gets overtaken by Binks in the ending by 0.1 of a second. Both clipping there. 51.63. Uh, good time. Uh, Sadosh is casting it in French. You see? Sadosh is casting, I think. Isn't he? <laughs> well, yeah. He is not. Raid, really? Wow. Huh. 
Aww. Okay, so then Bren is casting. That explains the password. But yeah, Bings and Snow leading now, but Bings with 26 points. And again with a better line compared to with Snow there. Where is uh, Hugo? Hugo is dead. And the others will can come a bit closer. But Bings is having a great start into that race. Look at that. He is at 10 points in this round again. And he will take with another sub-52. Snow on second and around third. But it was a close fight actually for second place. Only 12 thousandths of a second. Hugo on fourth. And yeah, Bings is now more than 10 points ahead of that. Ahead of that second place. But yeah, great to see that from Bren. That is very nice. Okay, into the next round we go, or into the next map. We have seen four rounds on that map, and now we see Jeon by Supero. Is the next map that we're gonna see. 101.47 is the author time by Supero, and the world record is a 59.41 by the player who has not picked the map, but who is in this match. Binks has the world record, and this is the pick from Anner. So Jeon is the map that we'll be that we're seeing here. Anner was superbly good on this map yesterday. And I think he can definitely redeem himself. His ending line was so good here. And I'm looking forward how this will work out. But let's take a look up to the scoreboard. As the one is still ongoing. Bing's 36 points. Hugo at 23. After having a good start and also taking a 10-pointer away from Bing's, who got three 10 points and uh, one six-pointer. So he's doing great. Then Enner and Snow both with 17 and 16 points respectively. So not a lot of points for the French men. For the bottom French men. Because every player here in this um, in this match is French. Even though Hugo has the Panama flag. He's also from France. So let's go into the first round. Good luck. Let's see if uh, players will surpass that 59 or that one minute barrier. But I guess so. I guess so that this will happen. Let's go ahead and see what they are going to do here. Bings with a slower start though. So even though he has the world record, he right now is behind. But um, of course, they need to stop Hugo from gaining momentum. Who's a player who's very momentum based. And if he gets into the lead one time, he is just unstoppable right, right now. Look, he's 0.27 ahead. 27 ahead of Binks, who's on second place. So what a great performance here from Hugo. Oh, goes so close there to the wall. And Hugo is still alive, but lose a bit of traction here. Also not the strongest line. I'm going to follow Anner because he had a really distinct ending line. But the others are doing that as well. Binks with so much speed, but it's not enough due to Hugo's great ending. A point 77 by Hugo. What a good time claiming the second 10-pointer to his name. So he is uh, on a roll and also Bings with an average of 1.33 um, as a position. Bings doing a great job. 42 points already. One third through. But also now with the point limit being 120. A match will probably end. in It could end in round number 22, 23. So that means that it will end on map number 4 two or three again instead of uh, that first map i'm not sure what to think about that but hey whatever let's just take a look into the next round as hugo and enner now are fighting it out binks and snow have made a mistake and enner is in need of those points he's very good on this map but can he stop this hugo guy the mtp player right now it's looking good that he does not lose speed. Gets a good approach here as well. Hugo with a nose up and Anna with a better minimization of airtime. But goes a bit too wide. They has a bit more speed but it's not enough to overtake. Hugo! It is! Because Hugo got an awkward bounce at the end. And it is 
Ener getting that first 10 pointer. Very important. My god, what a great, great line there from Ener. Great round, yeah, indeed. So 45, 39, and then 31 points for Anner. Only Snow is like really not feeling it. It's a little bit further behind. But let's go ahead and take a look how he is coping this round. Right now he's so far behind between Hugo and Bings, the race leaders, and also Anner not with the best start. But he can come back with a good slide here. Hugo with a mistake. Binks also had to release by the looks of it. Uh, but I think he didn't lose that much time because he had just so much speed. But I think he was just pushing it. Maybe he didn't tap or he didn't release the gas button. So Binks is leading and is making it a 59.83. Snow on second, Ender on third. And then we have Hugo on P number four. And hello there, Ratz Fatz. I think that's already the last round on this map. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, Binks again uh, struggling here a bit. Binks with another mistake. Finding himself behind Hugo and Enner on first and second. And then we have Snow behind. Oh, but Hugo clipping there. And in the before that, before the update, Hugo would have been completely dead. This was a Trackmania 2 moment, kind of. And Hugo is still alive. He didn't get a penalty. He didn't get penalized here. And Hugo is still batting it out for the victory. I like that change because it makes uh, RPG way more accessible. And he can still get that second place. And he will overtake him here. Enner making it here with a point eighty nine. Hugo barely with a sub one minute. And then Snow 400s behind Hugo here. But a great round indeed. And Enner really bringing himself back into the match. And Snow is the only player who has really majorly fallen behind and I'm gonna grab something to drink. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Okay, we back, boys. I have to close my door. There we go. We back. Okay, so we have the next map called Suki. This is uh, the pick from Hugo, then. Hugo's pick. So he has maybe figured out this map, which has a bug site at the end. So, a technique that is very hard. You do, should, or you can also go for a different line there. Uh, world record on this map is, uh, I think, by Evon uh, on Suki. World record is by Evon. Uh, actually, no, it's by Hugo. He has overtaken Evon by 17,000 of a second, a point 34. But yesterday, the world record was still by Evon. So great time by Hugo. So that's why it, it is his pick. And uh, he can maybe redeem himself and uh, do... A great job of making it a great start from Hugo. Look at this. Also here going to the free wheel section with a lot of speed. We see the first mistake here being done by Snow. Bings, Hugo and Enner not going for that inside line. Which they can go for. 
But right now it's Hugo and Bings who are on first and second and are touching it there a bit, but going over the penalty grass. And with that, he loses on a lot of speed. Hugo and Bings are still in the race. And it is uh, Hugo. Yeah, having a very good box set approach. Again, I was explaining that yesterday, but you want to go into a drift to tilt your car and also to minimize the time that you just spend in the air. And Hugo saves the ending and still gets a 51.77. That is a very fast time. I have to say that 51.77 because it was a safe ending. Very nice to see that Hugo is ready on this map and maybe this is his secret weapon. Who knows, who knows. Maybe this is Hugo's secret weapon. Okay, into the next round we go. And hello, Mental Strider. Good evening. Round number two on um, Suki. Very hard map, but I really like this one. As we have Bings with a very good amount of speed going for that overtake, but he clips or he goes into the palm tree and has to respawn. So Anna and Snow, the players who are uh, left alive. And let's take a look who is gonna survive that. Ender is dead here. I was seeing that from miles away. And he has to go for the respawn. So Snow is behind. Snow with more speed. More speed than Hugo. And he could overtake him if the map was a bit longer. But 200s are tearing them apart. And that was definitely a great round. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have to open my water bottle with one hand. Let's not spill it, guys. I almost spilled it. Whew, I did it. My god, Hugo with a great performance, up to 68 points. So he's in the lead. So uh, Anner and Bings now have a tremendous gap of uh, 14 points. And they have hardly gotten any 10 pointers. Either, either Hugo or Binks getting them enter in two rounds. But still, he needs to make more than that because the other drivers are also, like Hugo and Binks, are so consistent here that they are just getting the points. You know, Binks was stumbling a bit in the last couple of rounds, but let's take a look onto the box that Enner does it really good, gets a lot of speed here, more speed than Binks and also a little bit more than Hugo. But Hugo was so far ahead because he just had the most direct line and Hugo with a point six. Sick. That is a sick time from Hugo to 20. He has a point 66. That is a great time. And with that, he is uh, extending this lead to 78 points. Will that be the perfect map for the MTP player? That is the question. One more round on Suki. And Hugo could be the first player to surpass the 80-ish barrier. So Ender not playing too bad, but I'm really worrying about Snow, who's only at 45 points. So roughly an average of 4 points per round, and that is not good for Snow. He needs to make more than that. But maybe in this round he is right now in the mix. He is on second place. Oh, Ender jumping so close there, touching the grass a bit again, but gets a good landing in the slope section. And with that, he's still in that second place. Anner is also not too far behind. Gets a good slide there. But Bings and Snow got it really well as well. But Bings with not the best exit out of that. Who goes leading? And then we have Snow behind. Very, very important points. And... Oh, dear. Oh, my God. What is Hugo doing? What is that? Oh, my God, man. This Hugo guy is incredible. That is a great time indeed. Yeah, 40 points for Hugo. Great pick. I can just say that. Great pick by Hugo. Well deserved then. I mean, he has done his homework. And has adapted the line that Avon has chosen yesterday. 
Now we have Cassiope, a map from Link, and the world record is a 52.47. Map has been picked by Snow. Um, so Snow, the also the worst seeded player going into that match right now, only with 51 points. But of course, nothing is set in stone here. He can still make it. But it is a hard, hard task for him um, to come back because he's more than 20 points away from Binks. And Togo has gotten a good chunk of points. But of course, there is still the finest mode that has to be cleared. So, um, yeah. It can all happen. And let's just wait and check how the players will perform. How they will do it. What is actually a uh, track of the day, guys? Is it a um, what map? What map style is that? What map style do we have? But let's focus on the first round here in this one. Plastic tech, okay. HMH tech one with never mind. Oh, nice. It's not plastic, okay. It's the HMH map. Very cool. Very very cool. Okay, so let's go into the first round here on this map. Hugo has made a mistake. Ener, Binks, and Snow are on first, second, and third. And Snow is in need of those points. So let's focus on Snow in this round. As Binks and Ener are defining the pace in this race. Snow with a good line goes very far up in that funnel section on that wall right. But Binks and Ener are still ahead. And Snow is 0.18 away. Gets a good line here with a lot of speed. But of course, it's going way right down that thingy. And it is Snow who is not getting those players at the ending. Very wonky ending for Snow. They're almost flying out of that. But still getting third place. But with a point 19 he gets third. Oh man. Enner and also Binks ahead of him. And good points for Enner here. Who is at 73 points. Thanks to um, Hugo who has gotten a lot of points on that previous map. And it was really capitalizing from that. Oh, now snow clipping and that is not good. He had a good round before and maybe that is still in his mind that he is still like, you know, he was failing or not, not failing, but um, he had a good round and now he maybe has to push it more. Maybe that is his uh, mindset now, but he has made that mistake. So Binks is in first. Enner on second. Yeah, the easy dream player can take it home and come closer towards uh, Hugo. And also Enner, I mean, it's not looking too bad for him. Six points is still good, but of course that Binks is ahead of him. is not good in a point eight. That is a great time. A point eight on Cassiope. The world record is a point 47. Very, very nice time here from uh, Binks. Great job. Next round, round number three. Let's go with Snow. Waiting for him to make something happen. But he is again risking it so much, making that mistake. And he is out on that one again, as well as Hugo. So Binks and Anner in first and second again. A little bit of a decided round again. But he is... Um, not too far behind. So Anner is not too far behind to not have a saying. 0.16 of a second. Make it 0.13 now. But Binks might have it here. Also Anner had to release. So he will probably just take that safe 6 points. And yes, Binks will take it with another 0.8. Oh man. Binks is fast. Binks is really fast on this map. Binks is absolutely fast. And with that, he takes the next 10 points. So Binks up to 100 points. Overtakes uh, Hugo here. 
We had a really good prior map, of course. And now we have uh, the next round. And yo, Baz, my man, what's up? Nice seeing you. White people blanket. I hope you're doing good, my man. So Bing, Snow, and Enter. First, second, and third. And Hugo again falling behind in this round. This is not good for Hugo. As he is um, a player who was really shining, getting 40 points. But he can gradually lose grip over a match, even if he performs, even if he performs good on a map. But then maybe his uh, mental state is not in the best mood, or he's just pressuring him, himself too much. But it is Binks now winning with another point eight. My God, this guy is absolutely crazy. Another point eight, and Binks now up to 110 points. This Binks guy was absolutely incredible on this map. And with that, he is indeed now leading the round. That is great. That is very nice. So Heat Wave, again, we have the first map that will be played. And uh, yeah, round number 17 will come up just after that warm up. 110 points for Binks, who go 102, Enter not too far behind, and then we have Snow at 67 points. And also hello to Fischl. Hello, hello. Mega Moin. Nice to see you, my man. Also, guys, we will have a map request session after my casts. So after this uh, semi-final two and the grand final, we will have uh, a uh, map request session. You can still submit your maps um, on my Discord, exclamation map, map requests. Do that. Right now, I think we have received eight maps. That is good. I think eight. Eight maps, but of course I didn't do the map request session last week. But now I am. Okay, good luck. Warm up has ended, and we could see this could be the last map if Hugo and Binks will clutch it out here. Let's take a look. Let's just take a look here if they're gonna make it or not. Right now, it is Snow, Hugo, and Binks in the lead. Enner not with the best start, though. So Enner is um, not making it that well. But he's only point one away and could get himself a good one here. But loses the gear. And with that, he is losing a tremendous amount of speed. And yeah, that is not good for him. Hugo and Snow behind, ahead of Binks, who is behind. That's what I mean. And Hugo is still leading and wants to deny the finest mode to Bings. Bings needs a victory. What a turn from Bings into the lead he goes. Let's go with Hugo. What a wicked turn from Bings into the lead. And a point 40 from Bings. <laughs> what was that? What was that line, man? Holy moly! That was absolutely crazy. I think if we run that in slow mo. We're gonna see that it is uh, Binks who was in the block there or something. But let's go ahead into the next round. We have the finalist mode enabled for Binks if you have surpassed or reached the 120 points. That means that Binks is now finalist and he has to win one more round in order to secure his spot in the grand final and has a guaranteed cash prize of 100 euro. Right now Binks is leading, Hugo is behind, but Binks could use his first finest attempt to his name. Go so far, but Binks has it. Not Hugo sniping him because he clipped. Oh my god, man. He cl barely clipped there, and Hugo has overtaken him there. 118 points for Hugo now as well. 
That was so close there. And yeah, let's go ahead into the next round. But Binks is still not over and out here. Binks is still not over and out. As he gets a rather good start here. Unlike Snow, who's at 73 points. 73 points for Snow, which is not good. You can see it here. He's also so far behind. He's slacking in this one. And Ender is leading together with Binks, who is in finalist. Hugo is not finalist just yet, but Binks still needs a good ending. Ender with a great line, more speed, and also better approach by the looks of it. Can Ender snipe Binks in the ending? He has more speed, but it is Binks now taking it. That's GGG, but it was very close again. 28 thousandths of a second between Binks and Ender, and thus it is Binks winning it here and taking home that first spot into the grand final. GG's to him. Okay. So Hugo now also finalist. And we have one more round here. So Andrew has to win two more rounds. And also to be finalist. But of course Hugo has a quite comfortable lead. But two mistakes and he is uh, out. Andrew almost making that mistake. Oh, he, like, he's not out, but he's then in a pressure situation. But now Ener makes that mistake, and that is almost the wild card for Hugo, because also Snow has made that mistake, and now Hugo just has to survive the ending. Hugo can chill here. He is finalist, and he just has to win. No one is there. He is also saving it here and there. Very smart decision by Hugo. And yeah, that's probably the GG here for Hugo. Yeah, he releases. Very smart decision. Not getting the gear down or gear up or anything like that. And he's making that ending jump fairly easily. And a 51.79. Smart decision making by Hugo. And he is the second player in the grand final. GG.